Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay. I'm an online reseller and I sell over on eBay. If you want to check out my store, the link is in the description. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing some footage of me uh, searching charity shops in the local area to buy stuff for my eBay store. Now we did actually pick up quite a lot of stuff. Um, I really need to invest in a different mounting device for my camera because I seem to miss a lot of the footage of me actually picking the stuff up. Um, I don't know whether it's just because I mount it in the wrong place on my backpack or whatever seems to be the problem with it, but uh, for whatever reason, I keep missing the decent shots. So I'm going to try and pick up a decent GoPro chest mount and see if that's better. Uh, I feel like having the, uh, the camera on my chest rather than on my shoulder, I might be able to actually... Uh, get better shots when I actually pick something up in front of me uh, But yeah, so we visited uh, quite a few charity shops um, This week it was done over a two-day period because uh, the first day uh, The train wasn't running it got cancelled so I couldn't go into town unless I jumped on the bus And I didn't want to wait for the bus so I went in the next day So yeah, this footage is from the first day and uh, all the rest of the footage is basically from uh, the second day uh, but all of the stuff I managed to pick up today and uh, the next day was put into the pickups at the end of the video so around the six or seven minute mark in the video that is when I start showing all the stuff I picked up uh, and we just picked up that cool scrabble board we do actually come back for that a little bit later on in the video just so you don't just so you know before you start panicking I left that gem behind <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I don't know why I put that back on the shelf and then came back for it, but I did uh, But yeah, so a few more bits that I picked up and kind of put back down in this one This they had this really nice Pictionary on the shelf here um, I did actually open it up to see if everything was in there, but unfortunately there was some missing pieces uh, I'm not actually sure what the going rate is at the moment for Pictionary it used to be pretty good I'm not sure whether it still is, but they only wanted a pound on it. I think uh, unfortunately it was missing um, some of the cards that were in there so I left that one behind just looking at a few of the things on the top shelf here as you can see my view is actually pretty good on the camera but um, when I actually bring it down or if I bring something up from a lower shelf the, the view that I get of the item is just really bad so um, yeah a little bit of a Wii game there I left that one behind uh, but we just picked up upwards which is MB's kind of like knockoff version of Scrabble I think um, I can't remember exactly how much I paid for that, 99p or something around there, uh, but that was a good buy, I believe I could probably get around £10 for that one, uh, and yeah, going back for this awesome Scrabble board, so this was, I slowed it down there so you could see me again, uh, one ninety nine for that, and that's actually already sold, someone came and picked up today, they paid £25 for it, it was, they bought it for £30, but £5 postage, but they wanted to come pick it up, so... Uh, yeah, I got £25 for that. It sold the next day, so I could have held on to it and got 30 35 but I would have been waiting a while for that, so I just got rid of it. He offered me 25 so I took it. It was a good deal for £2 into 25 the, the very next day. I was happy with that. Uh, we did just pick up that little piggy there. Um, yeah, that's not really something that's going to be worth a lot of money, but I just like that kind of weird... Uh, sculpture kind of stuff so I picked that up that was £1.50 um, they had some nice shells on the shelf like seashells kind of things uh, I was going to pick them up to sell on Etsy for like craft supplies but I left them behind and in the end uh, it just wasn't something I wanted to really get into there was this really nice music box I have in my hand but once again the camera angle is not that great uh, it was kind of weird because you have to like twist the top of it to actually get it going um, but it sounded pretty good so it wasn't broken or anything right so this is the, the second day I'm now in town um, yeah I added this clip because I picked up these Nike trainers but they were kind of like sprinter trainers they had like the track spikes on them I wondered if anyone knew what they were worth because I couldn't find any details on them online um, I can't remember exactly how much they wanted for them now, but yeah, if anyone has any details on whether the sprinter trainers from Nike are worth anything, I might pick them up next time I'm in town if they're still there. Uh, but yeah, move on now to the third charity shop. Um, I actually pick up some cool tech deck stuff in a second. Um, as you'll see, I paid £4 for all the tech deck stuff. Um, 
yeah, this is a statue of elephants. I was going to pick this up for my sister. She loves elephants, but it was five pounds and I just thought, nah, she probably won't like that anyway. So I left that behind. Not really much in this shop other than the tech deck stuff today. So that is kind of all that I managed to pick up in here. Just having a look at the shelves to see if I've missed anything. They have a lot of books and DVDs and stuff in this one. They just never seem to sell it because their prices are quite high. Uh, but there you go. That's all the tech deck stuff. So this is like a ramp that folds up into a carry case, uh, which you can actually hold your skateboards and stuff on the side. It has little slots for it. Um, so that will go for like 15, 20 pounds. I believe I've sold this before. I think I got £20 for it. Maybe it was 10 I can't remember. Uh, but then the carry case underneath, which you had, which holds like 20 skateboards. So, yeah, that's really good money there for £4. Um, I got two things in this shop. The first one was this really nice pair of Nike trainers. Once again, the shot of this is really bad. So you'll see this later in the pickups. I picked that up for myself for £9. Uh, so they will be my trainers unless they're worth loads of money and then I'll sell them on but yeah nine pounds for them likes and I also bought one other board game in here for four pounds but the camera cut out so I don't have any footage of it so okay so we are back this is the pickups these were picked up over two days because the first day the train didn't arrive uh, but yeah so two days worth of picking charity shops uh, so yeah we're gonna go through this this is a pair of Nike trainers. I don't actually know exactly what kind of like mini brand these are. I know there's like different types of Nike trainers like Air, uh, Air Max and all that kind of weird stuff. I don't know what these are to be honest. They're size 11 which is my size which is why I kind of picked them up. They were £9. They're really nice. Really, really nice. They're really clean as well. There's a little bit of, um, you know, dirt and markings on it but nothing that can't be cleaned up. Uh, so I'm really happy with these. If I can't work out how much they are, uh, or if I'm not going to make a good profit on them, I'm going to keep them myself. Because for £9, I can't go wrong, and they fit me. Um, and you know what? It's been a while since I had some nice Nike trainers, so... Yeah. Okay, same charity shop. Uh, we got this Crimes of Grindelwald Match Crazy Cube game. We paid £4 for this. It's brand new, sealed, in its cellophane. Uh, I can probably get ten, fifteen pounds for this, so that's a nice one. Uh, picked up this Upwards, which is kind of like Scrabble, but uh, it's MB Games' is kind of like rip-off version of it. Uh, I say rip-off. This might have come first. I'm not sure. I presume it didn't know. So this was the jackpot of the last two days. This is a Scrabble Deluxe. I say it like that because there's a gap between. Uh, so yeah, Scrabble Deluxe. This is an old one. Uh, from Spear Games. You can see the box is quite shabby, but everything inside is complete and it's in really nice condition. I paid £1.99 for that and it's already sold for 25 I put it out for 30 because of the damage to the box. Could have got 30 if I'd waited, but take 25 the next day after I bought it. Why not? Um, so yeah, that's being picked up anytime soon and uh, yeah, that one's going out. So happy with that, if it's in mint condition, the box and everything inside, you can get £35, £40 pound for this. This is just something I really like the look of. It was, how much was this? Pound fifty. Um, I don't really know what I can get for this. Uh, it's a Regency Fine Arts kind of City Pigs collection, it says on the bottom. But it's really nice looking. I like this kind of weird, odd stuff. There's nothing actually on eBay other than this one that I've already listed. Um... Yeah, so I'm probably going to put up 15, 20, something like that, see what happens. Uh, I've got offers on as well, so if someone wants it, they'll put an offer in. If it's a sensible offer, I'll probably accept it. Not much in this, but this is just something I like picking up, weird kind of strange stuff every now and again. So, Right, so this was from the first charity shop, same as that pig and the Upwards and Scrabble. So I got these all at the same time. This is a really nice old Disney store uh, mug, which has Eeyore, Piglet, and poo on it and all of their mugs in there unless they're boxed are 50p i believe uh so yeah got that for 50p really nice deal that'll be going up for about seven pounds i believe okay so this is a dock for iphone ipod uh, it's got the oldest logitech by the way it comes in the carry case with a charger and a controller 
and this is the dock itself it's the old one but you can get an adapter for it. everything works it's been pack tested and all of that this was two pound fifty i don't know exactly how much i can get for this but i presume i'm going to be making some money on it hopefully i'll look into it and let you guys know hopefully it sells pretty quick a little bit of dirt in this one i have to clean that out but yeah really nice that one so i'm probably going to pick up a uh uh, what's it called i had the word a second ago an adapter so people can use it with the newer plugs on the iphones and then it will probably sell a little bit easier but yeah move that one over there that's really nice okay moving on we got this polaroid virtual reality headset it's not like a proper one it's one that you stick your mobile phone into so nothing special there it was supposed to be three pounds but i got it discounted when I bought a board game in there at the same time, Grand Prix board game, and uh, this was four pounds, so I got both for five pounds, uh, which is really nice. So that one and the Polaroid came together for five pounds. Really nice deal. That Silverstone, I can't find it on eBay, so I'm not sure whether it's a rare one or there's just none selling right now, but yeah. Okay, next up. This was from the same shop as the Scrabble and a few of the other bits. I went back today while I was posting some stuff and uh, got this one. So this one was 99p and as you can see it's just an old Monopoly board game. I'll probably get £10-£12 for that one. Uh, everything is complete in there, really nice condition. Okay, so what you can see in front of you is a Tech Dex uh, carry case kind of dealie. There's two boards that have wheels. One is Tech Deck, the other one's not. And all of the other boards in there that don't have wheels are Tech Deck. So I'll probably get £10, something along them lines, for just this. Uh, hopefully. I've never actually sold a case before, so I'm not really sure exactly how much I can get. Uh, but with those boards in there, you're likely I'll probably get £10, maybe a bit more. I've actually sold one of these before previously, and I got £20. This is a fold-out uh, tech deck branded uh, ramp set so it folds all the way out like it's bigger than this table it's huge uh, i'm not going to do it now because it's massive but you can see how much it folds out there's like ramps and grind bars and all that kind of stuff and has space on here to hook your uh your skateboards on so you can carry this around your mate's house and play with that around there which is pretty cool right next up we have percy oh it's back to front Percy the Park Keeper collection, uh, collection of books. I picked up for one pound fifty in charity store. Uh, the only reason I did that was because the original price was thirty six, as you can see on the bottom. Uh, I've not really done any looking into this yet, but if it's anything like Peter Rabbit, uh, it's gonna sell for quite a bit. If I can get ten pounds out of it, I'll be happy. Uh, but just as an experiment, really, I didn't scan it. I just saw thirty six pounds and thought it was worth taking the risk while I was in there. So that's that one. A few more to go. We have this old vintage Black & Decker travel twosome case. So this has a case inside and it has a small um, stowaway iron and hair dryer in there, which are both brand new. I did try them out just to make sure it's not going to like explode or something. And they both seem to work really well. They stink though of old plastic. <laughs> so whoever, um, whoever gets this is going to have to deal with the smell. Of the old plastic when they heat up but yeah it works and uh, if someone likes traveling that's pretty good next up we have two brand new spiralizer kits this is kind of like an off brand I don't really know what brand this is it says pom stream underneath this sticker but it's like got a sticker on it so I'm not sure whether a different company bought them out and then hid the old brand in or whatever but yeah this is brand new inside it's all still in the bag spiral vegetable slicer um so i paid two pounds for this one which is a really good deal uh brand new and then this is the best deal this is a spiralizer express morphe richards version this is like an electronic version and i got this for four pounds and guess what it's brand new it's never been used right so that is everything that i got on the last two days of hunting the charity shop. I don't really know what I'm going to get for this lot, but I'm hoping, fingers crossed, it's going to be good. Good money. I didn't pay much for all of this, so I don't have much into it. So, uh, yeah, really happy with the pickups this week. Um, I may be going to uh, an auction tomorrow, Friday. Is it 
Wednesday today or Thursday, I, I forgot. Uh, but yeah, Friday I'm going to be going to an auction. Hopefully I can get a load of new electronics, video games, consoles, all that kind of stuff for the channel. But if not, I'll be going next week. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please do leave a like and feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.